So the JLT handicap hurdle rounds things off to the children and it's a three mile one furlong one to 120 handicap hurdle. My top one is Fallout Lad, David Robertson, Fallon Gong, Darren Thompson, Secret Lake, Jim Murray, The Aristocrat, Kevin Mina, and then Summer Harbour, Jim Murray, Dresden Dynamo, Carla Agante, Only Fools and Horses, Derek Hinton, King's College Boy, Graham Clutterbook, Guided, Jamie Hopkins, Make You Laugh, Martin Leadham, Buzzer Time, Daniel French, Black Autumn, Alex Cherry, Tomorrow's World, Daniel French, Nickel Coin, Darren Howes, Radio Missile, Alex Cherry, Sister Winning, Doug Warren, Excellent Dan, Doug Warren, Quack, Kevin Minahan and Trabago, James Follis, and Montoya, James James Follis there away then in this final race of the day on Mackis and Gold Cup Day here at Cheltenham and Radio Missile on the inside is just about the early lead with the grey buzzer time coming up on that one's outside and buzzer time it is that's going to settle down into the lead it would seem with the orange jacketed guided wider on the track coming to challenge as they race down towards the first of 12 flights of hurdles and they all skip over that one nicely with quack just the back marker at this early stage and buzzer time the grey right over on the far side in the lead then from guided in second only fours and horses in the pink has moved through into third and fall out lad heads the rest as they take number two. Oh, one, one down there there's a fall and look nickel coin nickel coin's gone so that's a bit of bad luck for darren howes i think nickel coin might be named after an old grand national winner from many years ago as they take the third Sadly for Darren, it doesn't jump as well as that one did, and it's out of the race at this relatively early stage of proceedings. So buzzer time it is then who takes them uphill now as they start to swing left-handed. Guided has moved into a second place on the rail now, having cut in from the centre of the track. Trabago in the blue is the one who's now running widest. And Black Autumn is also getting closer to the lead as they take the fourth, and it's buzzer time in the lead. Grey horse in the light blue silks. We've got a grey horse in light blue silks at the back as well, and that's tomorrow's world. So downhill now, then, and buzzer time in the lead from guided second. Only falls and horses is third, and the next leg down has got the rail in fourth. And Summer Harbour in those Jim Murray black and red colours, and so well yesterday. And Fallout Lad and Trabago after that one, then Sister Wood and Radio Missile. Secret Lake is next, and then Black Autumn has lost his place a little bit. The Aristocrat is tucked in nicely on the inside. Montoya, the second of the James Follis horses, is also running a little bit wide, but not quite as wide as his stable companion. King's College Boy is after that one in those Graham Clutterbuck Welsh flag colours as they take number five. And then the back five are Make You Laugh. I went up the poor attempt to qualify a couple of weeks ago, but tailed off last, last week. And then tomorrow's World Quack, Dresden Dynamo and Falun Gong. So just less than a couple of miles still to go then. And buzzer time is yet to be headed. Guided is about a length and a quarter behind in second. And only Fools and Horses is third. Fallout Lad is fourth. Next let down is fifth with in between those two Summer Harbour. Radio Missile still got a nice place towards the inside. And second of the Jim Murray Horses Secret Lake is tracking that one. And then Black Autumn and Sister winning in the second of the Doug Warren Horses as they take number six safely over that one just the early party then nickel coin the rest of them been hurdling well Fallon Gong has now dropped to the back of the field as a couple of lengths off the others as they go out on their final circuit of Presbury Park last circuit of Cheltenham for the week I'm sure we'll be back before too long though I seem to be at Cheltenham most weeks every other week at least and buzzer time is the leader from guided in second only fours and horses in third and comes summer harbour uh, excellent Dan fall out loud after that one and radio missile on the aristocrat and make you laugh is being pulled up at the back what make you laugh doesn't make me laugh because it's mine and it's <laughs> pulled up so they take the seventh uh, pull up kit is rather bizarre isn't it make you laugh wins a poor attempt to qualify over three miles the other week uh, and then runs again over three miles and finishes tailed off and runs to over three miles and pulls up with a mile and a half to go so make of that what you will as they take that one and guided has gone into the lead and buzzer time is now dropped back into second probably just been given a little bit of a breather that one only falls and horses is third and then summer harbour has moved into fourth as they take number nine falun gong is still just a back marker they're racing now towards the final mile in this race and guided has guided himself into the lead with only falls and horses chasing in second buzzer time still there on the inside in third summer harbour is fourth Comes radio missile and fallout lad and Trabago. 
are still going pretty wide. I'm a track excellent down. After that one, they take the tenth. And that's three from home, of course. And it's Guided who's still the leader then. Just two more to jump then. Guided from Only Fools and Horses. Buzz it on. Here comes Trabago around the outside. He's been going wide all the way. Also making a significant forward move. Now is the Aristocrat. And also coming from the back, Black Autumn. But as they begin to sweep on this long turn towards home, then Trabago has now taken the lead. Suddenly Guided looks to be treading water and on the outside the Aristocrat has come through to take it up. So it's the Aristocrat from Trabago. Guided's trying to rally. Buzzer Time's looking a little bit one pace now. Only Fools and Horses has lost his place. Then Summer Harbour and Fallout Lad and Radio Missile. But look at this Aristocrat. He's gone six clear. Racing down towards the final two flights. Still got over four furlongs to go though. He skips over the second last nicely. Six lengths clear of a rejuvenated Buzzer Time in second. Has this leader gone too soon? It's the Aristocrat from Buzzer Time. Trabago's gone out pretty quickly. Summer Harbour is now running on really well from the back and looks a strong challenger. Also running on well is Radio Missile. But it's the Aristocrat. One to jump, three furlongs still to go though. And the Aristocrat is being pressed by Buzzer Time, who was in the lead for a long way. Summer Harbour looks to be going best of all on the outside, and Summer Harbour hits the front. Summer Harbour by half a length, then racing down towards this final flight. Summer Harbour, two furlongs, one flight to go. They come towards the final flight now. Summer Harbour and Buzzer Time. The Aristocrat back in third, trying to run on fools and horses. It's all going to be down to this jump. I think it's Summer Harbour in the lead. They come to it. Summer Harbour goes straight through the top of it, and that's given the Aristocrat a chance to get back up on the inside. And he's taking it. The Aristocrat has gone up on the inside from Summer Harbour. Well, inside the final furlong, it's the Aristocrat. Summer Harbour's trying to fight back. Only four horses back in third. Aristocrat, Summer Harbour. This is going to be a head bobbles that race up towards the line. This is going to be mighty goes, but Summer Harbour's just getting up on the outside. I think they'll take it. Summer Harbour from the Aristocrat. And despite that mistake at the last, Summer Harbour got up out of the wall. That ding dong battle up that straight. And. I thought the aristocrat might have gone too soon, but then he came back after the Jim Murray horse made that mistake. But Summer Harbour's won that quite convincingly, really, by half a length, I would think. Let's take a look at the full card, then. It's Summer Harbour for Jim Murray by three quarters of a length, actually. The aristocrat, Kevin Meenahan, ran a big race in third, giving, in second, sorry, giving weight as well. Only Fools and Horses, third for Derek Hinton. Buzzer Time was fourth for Daniel French, and Dynamo Dresden was fifth for Carl Aragante. And now we'll go over to Stu.